Okay. Alright, cool. right, so first and foremost, and um, we'd like to say Baraka for your hawa. Baraka for your hawa shah. Baraka for your hawa. Baraka for your hawa shah. Baraka for your hawa. Baraka for your hawa shah. Baraka for your hawa. Baraka for your hawa shah. Baraka for your hawa. Baraka for your hawa shah. Baraka for your hawa. Um, double honours to the apostles and, and elders of Great Millstone. Double honours. And also salutations to all of the different sit at Kim worldwide. Um, so the purpose of this sit down is really just to go into spirituality and faith. Because honestly speaking, you see the last times that we're coming into now, which really, what am I even talking about, that we're already living in really and truly, faith is going to be of paramount importance. That's why even though it's one-on-one scriptures, um, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, stands the test of time, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Because we're going to, the scriptures say this is going to be a time like has never been seen before in the face of the planet Earth. There's going to be people dying, getting killed by the masses, bombs going off, yep. dogs to tear, you know, all kind of unnatural, natural and unnatural phenomenon, so to speak, happening. And you're going to have, a, need to have a soundness of mind to know that according to Psalms 91 Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai got you you see that requires a lot of faith you know that's that Psalms 23 I mean we might even hold that on deck you know do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death because that's talking about Babylon we need to truly be in America but London where we're based is no, not, not much more than an extension of that so we're just going to go into just maintaining the faith and the power of faith man Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai bring out the open scripture up this is the book of Matthew chapter 14 and we'll start from verse 22 and straight away, Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into his ship and to go before him onto the other side, mm -hmm. while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Mm -hmm. But the ship was now in the midst of a sea, mm -hmm. tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Now you gotta understand that they weren't in like a modern day cruise ship. They weren't in no massive, you know, metallic kind of, you know, you know, fortified ship with radar and sonar and all the rest of that mm. shit. That they were in an ancient boat yeah. and the, the waves of the water were raging. So naturally, they were worried. They were like, yo, you know, if we don't get to land soon enough, we might drown. Maybe, mm. you know, yeah. you shipwrecked, know and, shipwrecked and, and drown. You know, honestly speaking, the disciples, and naturally, that's a, that's a manly thing because mm. at the end of the day, we're subject to the elements. Man. You can't breathe underwater because the most high giving you that capability. So they were on some, yo, if we don't sort this shit out, we might die, man. Yeah, sharks, you know I mean? they're everything. Big we'll fish. Mm. We'll talk, go on. And it says, And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them, walking on the sea. So, Apostle Gabbard promotes um, pr um, thinking about the scriptures and pictures. Yeah. you got to understand, Yahweh Shai would have been off somewhere else praying. Mm -hmm. He would have left the disciples and said, Hold this down, you know, just stay in the boat and wait mm -hmm. for me. And then the waves have been rocking. And then they would have they would have been probably thinking, yo, yeah, our leader's gone off. He's away from us, and we're out here in the sea on yeah. our own. And then all of a sudden, they saw you how I shy walking on water. You can imagine, Jake. They right. would have been thinking, yo, him off a dead. You know, yeah, he yeah. died. He yeah. died, and this is his spirit. Oh, yeah. we're already dead, and we're bugging thinking. Out, yeah. They would have been bugging out, thinking, well, what, how the fuck is he walking on this water? I don't understand. Like we see our Lord walking on water towards us, mm. and not going up. Okay. Mm. And it says, and when the disciples, the disciples saw him walking on the sea. They were troubled, mm. saying, it is a spirit. Done. So they were like, yo, something must have happened to him. Like, you know, he must have been killed by the, by, 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 by you know, the scoffers. He might have been killed by a wild animal. He might have, yeah. he might have even committed suicide. You know, mm. they were thinking the most. They were like, yo, you know, this can't be the Lord. Mm. This can't be Yahweh Shai. How is he walking on water? Can't. Regardless of all the miracles they've seen, they were still on some, yo, you know, Treacherous waters. How, the, how how is he walking on this water? How how is this happening? This can't be the Lord. This it's must be a ghost. It's impossible. Mm. It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. Mm. But straight away, Yahushai spoke unto them, saying, mm. "Be of good cheer. It mm. is I. Be not afraid." Mm. And Peter answered him and said, "Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water." Mm. And he said, "Come." And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked. On the water Come. to go to Yahweh Shai. Now, you know, Peter in that moment, you can imagine that he would have had the faith. He would have heard Yahweh Shai mm. reply on him and he'd be like, yo, this might actually be for real. Mm. So yeah. he would have got out of the boat like, oh shit, you know, I'm a bit shaken up. But Lord, you know, mm. if you say it's you and, you know, yeah. I followed you all this time. You made me the cornerstone mm. of your church. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I've got to do. But then as the wave, you can imagine the wave must have come crashing down. Yeah. And he's like, ah, oh, shit, yeah. you know. And that's the same spirit that brothers are going to be in where you might be on that, you know, yeah, the Lord got me. You know, martial law mm. might be declared. You hear the alarms outside your house. You walk out, yeah. you see a man get head topped and you're like, ah. Oh. 
It's a test of your faith, right? It's a test of your faith. But honestly speaking, go on, I'll go through that. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, mm. he walked on the water to go to Yahushai. Yeah. But when he saw the wind, yeah, boisterous, yeah. he was afraid. Yeah. And beginning to sink, come. he cried saying, Lord, save me. Come. Now, why did he begin to sink? Because of the fact that at that moment in time, he lost faith. He didn't lose faith, I would say, but he, he, his faith began to decrease because he was thinking, even if this is the Lord, how the fuck am I going to survive this? He was thinking in the carnal sense. But it, it, not Yahweh Shai say that, you know, I, 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 we, that he, we'd be transformed. There's no, you know, I have not seen, I have not heard. That's right. Honestly speaking, we're going to be restored to a higher level. Mm. You know, I brought, one of us got three sets, but let's finish off with that. And, then. and it says, and immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O vow of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? That's it, really. Mm. And when they will come into the ship, mm. the wind ceased. That's right, man. Yeah. See, that's what it is. You see, the scripture also says, He that serves the Most High must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. That's why this truth, you can't do it in a, on a just in case kind of spirit. Because the scripture also says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Most High deceitfully. That means if you ain't really down for this, if you're on some lukewarm shit, mm. you're going to be destroyed. Because your heart, Shimon Hoshai, wants a man that's going to that's gonna walk through that path with the water on the left and the, you know, on, or not specifically on the left, but the water on one side and the fire on the right and not have no fear. you got to not have faith that the Most High going to care if you keep your balance. And if you ain't got that faith, then really and truly he's going to leave you, you know, for the, for the, for, you know, for the structure. I don't know, you, uh, you got something? You got a quick one, I was got a long one. Is uh, Revelation three fifteen? I know thou works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I uh, would thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my, out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing about the truth. Like honestly speaking, like if you, if you ain't gonna ride for the truth, you might as well. Have, you have no business coming into the truth. And that's one thing. That's why it's an important thing. Where if you're even if you're in the crowd, before you join the camp, you gotta be really down for this. You can't be on some. I kind of believe this. But I'm still, you know, the scripture says, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Right. You well, know what I mean? Count the cost as well. Count the cost. You get me? You can't be on some a 70% believer, but when they talk about that rape, you know, I see where they're coming from, but I'm still trying to, ultimately speaking, the Lord told us he could eat the whole roll, man, and it was sweet in his mouth as honey, but in his, in his belly is bitter, man. Because honestly speaking, you can't come on this thing of, but that's how the bug outs happen. That's how you get niggas pulling out a GMS, turning up, turning against the elders, because they weren't really down with what the elders were saying. They were just on some, this sounds better than Christianity, so I'm just going to follow it. At, at, at the end of the mm. day, you gotta be you got to be fully persuaded in this. You can't be on some, Yes, you know, I kind of believe that. The scripture also says, let your, I'm quoting bear, but we'll get them. But, you know, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You've got to be either down for it or not. You get me? That, that's how you got to be. Is there more than that? Or is that, is that pretty much it for that scripture? Yeah, that was all. Okay. Yeah. Go on, quick one. Oh, you got a good one, yeah. yeah. So, like, I've got a um, preset. This is James 2. And we'll start from verse, um, verse 17. And it says, even so, faith... If it have not works, is dead, being mm. alone. Yeah. Yeah, man may say thou, thou has faith and I have works. Mm. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So yeah. And even on the point the brother just bring out on uh, neither hot or cold, that also represents your diligence, man. Mm -hmm. You know, your diligence towards the faith. Because if you're hot, that means you got the spirit on you, man. You're you're doing those videos, you're pushing out the videos, you know, you, you got a command from the elders apostles saying, look, do the three videos a week. And you're bugging out because, you know, the, the apostles were encouraging to, to have a spirit of, mm. you know, doing more than three videos a week. And, you know, it's getting into your head. That's, come on, that means you've got a weak spirit. But you're Baruch, not on fire. Baruch says, you know, I was good, man. Yeah, yeah. like that. Like, once being far, far astray, seek the most high ten times more. Yeah, that's right, man. Baruch. Ten times more. Or 28. For yeah. as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him ten times more. That's right, man. Ten times more. That's that's beautiful. So you you got to seek the Lord, you know, his treasures, his, his word, and push out the truth even more, man. So you shouldn't be bugging out because... The apostles are trying to encourage, encourage your spirit. In fact, that's exhortation, man. Mm. The scripture talks about that in um, Acts fourteen twenty two. Mm. Exhort them to the uh, to the faith, man. That's right. No? That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is um, Matthew chapter uh, eight, verse twenty three. And when he was entered into it, the he being the Al Shai. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, 
There arose a great tempest in the sea, yeah. in so much that the ship was covered with the waves. This is another account of that same thing, isn't it? It's not, it's not, it's a different account, but it's in a ship. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, but he was asleep. Okay. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. And it says, and his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. Yeah. And, um, that's right, see, that's why I, I always love to say, Yahweh Shai knew that the Most High had given the script. You see, Yahweh Shai knew that he was going to come and fulfill his purpose. He knew that he wasn't going to go down drowning like like we wouldn't be reading the, the script so-called 2000 and something roughly years later and then how shai's death was in the ship he knew that he had to fulfill his purpose on the cross he knew that he had to live on for the full fulfillment of prophecy so he believed in what yahweh how shai said not like that so like yahweh his father said so he knew that he had the faith that yo all things must be fulfilled the son of man had to carry the sins of israel he had to he had he had to that he had to die for the sins of israel he had to be chastised of the rod of men so honestly speaking regardless of how fucked up the waves must have been regardless of how much water was coming into the boat he knew he wasn't going to die then man so honestly speaking that's what I'm, that's what that's the kind of faith you gotta have. You gotta have the level of faith where there could be bombs dropping. Mm -hmm. But you're like, yo, the Lord said if I keep the due diligence and sincerely do his work, yeah how obviously you don't know for sure if you're part of the elect or not, but yeah how about showing you how much are, you know what I mean? Who else is out there doing it like, like what GMS is doing? Mm -hmm. Like honestly speaking, you gotta just have the faith or fuck it. A man can get shot next to me, but honestly speaking, guess what? The most time gonna carry you through for his purpose, you get me? But go on. I, I think this is an interesting scripture as well, because I was just thinking it when it says saying lord save us we perish it's like that's what we're doing now you know we want the lord to save us yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, perishing you know yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, man i'll be honest man. you know when you pray and stuff man you'll be like lord hey but because shut up yeah you know you'll be saying look man we we go work we work we've got homosexuals in our midst you've got homosexuals over us we've got women over us Right, we're in a society where you know i was reading an article in switzerland or one of them uh, european countries you know, they can, child services can be called and your child can just be taken and don't even have to give you a reason why. I was on the yeah. RT recently. Well, even here in England, man, you, you know, you've got, you got a child, you can't enjoy your child, man. Yeah. You know, you send your child to school, is being taught by drag queens, you know, being taught yeah. by women. Women are putting their homosexual tendon, their, what you call it, their, uh, what you call it, their worldly tendencies on that child, right? Brothers shared the um, trailer for, 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 what was that film? Incredibles 2. Right, you know what's that promoting? Stay at home dads. Yeah. You know while the woman goes out to work, getting bent over the desk by her boss. Right, these are things that you know we we uh we could be suffering this kingdom, man. Right? And we're we're saying, Lord, but because look, man, we're suffering here, man. Okay. We don't want to have to live like this. You know, a mark of two and ten. This is You're not your rest. Yeah. And then, hey, hey, we, hey, we ain't at rest. Okay. You know, Got it's just a land back on what you were saying, bro. Kind. So this is a. Uh, so let me read that again. I'll keep reading. And his disciples came to him, and awoke him, saying, "Lord, save us! We perish." And he saith unto them, "Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith?" Going back to faith, the Lord said, "Why are you being? Why are you? Not, where is your faith, man? Where's your faith at? You know." Mm. Let me just say this as well. Like what brothers come out and say at the camp, like some of the bro, like when we come out and the way we curse people out. If yeah. it wasn't for the spirit of your heart, but I should have shy, bro. We would have been dead off a long time ago, bro. Yeah, the scripture yeah. says, like, um, I believe in Psalms 37. Um, if it, no, if, if accept your how I how should I build the house, they labor in vain that built it. It's either 37. Okay, I've got one as well. Yeah, it's either 37 or 137 or 129. One of the two, one of the three. But basically, honestly speaking, the way brothers come out boldly, man, we're cursing our Esau to his face. And honestly yeah. speaking, no one can roll up on the men of the Lord, Yahweh, Shri, Hoshai, Ratazar, and do any wickedness. Why? Because we have faith in him, number one. We honestly believe, like, it will sound up, it will sound bugged out to you people. But yes, bro, when we go out to camp, we honestly believe that we spiritually have angels and camp around the camp. Oh, God, I yeah. You know, go and bring it out. It's Psalm 34, 7 okay. says, The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him, that delivereth them. That's right. Hey, the scripture also says that the Most High rebuked kings for, the, for his, his elect's sake. You had the account where Abraham went through Egypt with, with, with Sarah. The, the, the Pharaoh tried mm. to take Sarah from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And then the Most High plagued that, that, that Pharaoh to the point where he was like, take your, yeah, your yeah. wife, take some cattle mm. and get the fuck out of my country. Yeah, mm. And honestly speaking, that's the level of spirituality that brothers are on, man. You get it where the police came up and the chariots started flying over. Yeah. And the police were asking brothers like, yo, yeah, you what's know, that? Yeah, what's, what's that? Yeah. You know, yeah, you had yeah. that account with Peter where, the, where the, 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 the prison keeper tried to repent. Mm. Honestly speaking, you got to understand that you know, there's no enchantment, no divination against Israel, but ultimately speaking, it comes down to faith. Faith. Faith, man. That's what it's about. That's why the two thirds out here are fucking lost, because they lack faith. They have no faith. They, their, their faith is in the trust of 
of, of Egypt. They trust Isaiah 30, Isaiah 31. They trust in the shadow of Egypt. But they don't trust in Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh If they trust in Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, the scripture does not the scripture say that if all Israel pray, face the east and pray that the Lord will come overnight and deliver us. But obviously that ain't going to happen because it's prophecy number one. And these, these are the niggas, but Two that's the power of faith. It, man, yeah. But yeah, come on, ask, I like your call. No, no, I was going to say, can I say a testimony quickly yeah. you know, on that scripture? Um, about the, the angels encamping around us, right? Um, I was uh, basically I was going to meet with some brothers, and they were across the road. I didn't know where they were. I was kind of on the phone to them, asking them, you know, where where they are. But they were just literally across the road. And then these these guys basically came up to me, and one of them started doing some like you know some homosexual shit. And I basically told him, uh, I, I said fuck off, you know, mm-hmm. right? And then um, and then he basically um, his friend kind of spoke up and said, what, you know, you tend to fuck off and all that. Mm. And I, just, I looked at him, but I just ignored him. You know, you want to get carnal. Mm. And I just crossed the road. To see, I wanted to go meet the brothers. So I went to see the brothers. And literally, as I go to meet the brothers, all of a sudden we turn around and we're just observing. They don't know the situation that just happened, right? They just We're just observing. These guys go up to some guy on a motorbike. They kick him off the motorbike, chase him. They, they go on his motorbike, chase this guy. So, and you know they're causing a ruckus and all that and out of nowhere 10 guys come out of nowhere the friend of the guy that they're messing with mm. and they start getting fucked up they're getting chased they're getting chased and all this commotion's happening we're just observing and then um, this bus pulled up right and you know big double decker London bus right and as it's pulling up one of the guys got smacked clean in the face I don't know I can't remember if it was the same guy he got smacked clean in the face and his head bounded off the off the bus and he was out cold and then the police had to come and ambulance, ambulance and all that and we were just there observing the whole shit and then I told the brothers and you know and you know and, uh, you know, we praise the Lord man because yeah. um, we can't mess with the prophets man that's you know we fear the Lord and we have faith man that's just to you know give a testimony of that scripture you know mm-hmm. in, in, in living colour as they say um, I was going to finish off with this yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. right this is um, verse uh, 26 and he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Mm-hmm. Right? But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And that's our Lord, man. Okay, that's the, the finisher of our faith. When we're, you know, Lord willing, we get beaten up into those chariots, and there's going to be a calm before there's a slaughter, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Lord's going to the Lord's gonna give us rest, as the brother quoted earlier in Micah. Okay, the Lord is going to give us rest, man, and he's going to change us. So that you know, we, you know, all, all the things that we, we're gonna have that faith, you know, because mm-hmm. right now we're in the flesh. You know, you get down, you go through shit, you get demons constantly plaguing your mind. The thing is, hey, demons constantly plague your mind, whether you realize it or not. Mm-hmm. Demons, are, every thought you have, you gotta think. Where's Satan at? Every mm-hmm. every thought you have, you have to think, is that of the scriptures or you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, or or is a demon fucking with me? Hey, that and let's keep it real, yo, that. Not only could it be about yourself or um, your family or people, whatever, it could be about brothers, man. Yeah. You know, you can you can get you can be in a room with a brother, all busting joke, and then the demon will jump on you. I thought about it, man. Mm. You gotta rebuke that demon yeah. in the name of your help Bashmi Al Shai through faith. You know? Yeah, you gotta tell that demon to fuck off, man. You know, in the name of your Bashim Al Shai. You gotta be like, nah, mm. sorry, so lucky. Yeah, like, you gotta be like, you know what? Like, you're a demon. Yeah. I thought, that out, yeah. That's a that is a that is a wretched thought because we're in wretched we're in these wretched bodies, yeah. you know, and it, our spirit is willing but our flesh is weak. That's right. That's so, right. Yeah, so yeah, man. No, that's true, man. Yeah, man. But even what you said, that's what happened with Yahweh Shai when he was tempted in the wilderness. Mm. You know, Satan came, and you know that, that's the thing. The demon he will kind of put some truth in what he's saying, mm. but you gotta know the whole scripture, man. Mm. You gotta know the mm. the whole breakdown to it so you can, yeah. you know. You can um, speak on it. Can't. So Yahweh Shai, every time he replied, he replied with the scriptures, with the scriptures man. Don't, right. t- don't tempt the Most High. Don't do this, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, you know, worship the Lord only, mm. blah, blah, blah. That's how you got to reply with the scriptures, yeah. man. Yeah, be, be, and you know, that's, um, you know, being grounded. Yeah. Right, being grounded in the faith. Ultimately, you could, all these guys, they, you know, you know, they say if they depart from us, then they were never with us. Roughly yeah. paraphrasing, right? Yeah. But what happens with these other guys is, as, as you're saying, you know, there was a bit of truth in what Satan was yeah. saying. The Satan will come on, hey, hey, psst, psst, hey, psst, hey, such and such and such. Mm. You know, hey, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe the earth is, is flat. Yeah? Mm. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, shit. Mm. Because you ain't grounded, right? Because you have no foundation. Then you start going into other philosophies, which is why... 
you read um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, be admonished and make many books, right, from, uh, from what studies, you know, weariness of the flesh, right? Because if you ain't, I'll, I'll give my personal testimony since that's what we're doing today, right? When I first came in, right, I remember reading Babylon to Timbuktu, I think it is, on the first page, they basically saying Edomites, so basically saying Edomites, so-called white people, have a genetic mutation. Right. For a couple of months, I was going around saying, you know, yeah, genetic. Then you read the scriptures like, no, bro. Right? If you had known Genesis 25, you would have known exactly what it was. You would have known that that was a mark. Well, if you really read the whole book of Genesis, starting with Cain, you read that was a mark that was put upon Esau, man. Right? Not no genetic mutation, man. Right? <laughs> you know, that's why you've got to be grounded. Because, like I said, with, with the things Satan was saying... Well, what did Yahusha do? Yahusha went to the, to the cuts of the scripture, yeah. you know, and as we're talking, Satan will come fuck with you, right? But you got to go to exactly what it is the scriptures say. you always got to sift things through the scriptures, man. Huh. It's a mark of leprosy. Yeah. yeah. Because, hey, Esau can go and um, deal with the, the most darkest, hamatic nation women. Yeah. 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 He can keep doing that because he did that. Yeah, he yeah. did that, yeah. Okay. I mean, we don't, we don't say in the scriptures what, how his kids came out, but, hey, you know, you can see today there's how much hella mm. so-called white people walking around and we had a leprosy on the yeah. earth right so wh where did that come about mm. yeah. okay the beat what's it called Vito Lago mm. yeah hey that's the mark that's the mark man mm. of, and that's we're talking about the mark of Cain the leprosy man it's got if you read the um, Le Leviticus I think it's the 13th chapter Talks about the priests and how, uh, mm. and, and the, the spot and the blemishes. Yep, the, that yellow the, thin hair. That's it. The the raw Can't. skin. Can't know. And that that point you just make that also proves how that's a spiritual curse. Mm. That's a deep curse. Because think about it. back in Genesis twenty five, Esau was the only person that um, lacked um, melanin or pigmentation or whatever. So he dealt with the the other nations. But he still came out the same way. Mm. So that's a heavy, heavy curse. Yeah. Come, you yeah. always got to remember, hey, Ma uh, Mark, uh, second Mark is the seventh chapter, right? Um, you got the story of the mom, and she's basically saying, uh, you know, after the kids all dead, man, I cannot tell how you came into my womb, for I neither created, you know, the members of you. So what we're basically saying, I didn't create you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, which is a cut to all these women. You came from a woman, you know. But that's a, that's a subject for another day. Right, so what's that saying? That's saying it's the most high that forms a child. Right, so most high that chooses the way a child comes out. Right, just with Esau, the most high that basically said, you're going to come out looking like this. And even to this day, you know, and the, and the thing is, they had it on the National Geographic, right? They, they were, you know, these two twins. Hey, which is actually never deep down spiritual that was. The National Geographic, one of their main things that they were focusing on this year was, uh, what you call um, race. Quote unquote, and their their cover page, their cover page, cover sheet um, was two twins, what right? two uh, twins from America, right? One was black looking and one was white looking, right? But they were twins, mm -hmm. right? Just to show you that these things are possible, and that the Lord has has the ability to just say, look, man, you're gonna come out because like, like we read in Second Maccabees, well, we didn't read it, but Second Maccabees speaks about how it's the Lord that's the one that's actually creating, yeah. um, you know, creating uh, an individual. Man. I got a scripture you quote from Mark, Mark and I think it's in Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Okay, this is um, I got Luke 17. What did you want? Luke 17. Yeah, uh, let me read this first. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Luke 17 from the top says, Then said he unto his disciples, It is impossible, but the offenses will come. So, yeah, what your I was saying was like, Yo, hey, you know, you even got this, this saying, I forgot who, said, who made this quotation, but in the time of universal deceit, simply telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. You can tell a man, like, yo, World War III is inevitable. They're going to bug out. They're going to be on some, yo, but I'm just out here trying to party. I'm okay. trying to enjoy myself. How the fuck are you trying to bid my sunshine, you know? But what you said, you got yeah, no, I, I worked with a geezer. You see, basically said that. So, all of these publications, you know, each time anything like this happens, I always talk about World War Three. But we've bombed Syria before. <laughs> and I was, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Because <laughs> you took the bass out of your voice. <laughs> 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 that's right, man. That's right. Read that again, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Mark 9, 7. I mean, no, no, actually not. Carry on, yeah? No, yeah. go on, continue with that. Right, oh, this one, Salam. I was just uh, looking for that quote that you... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Apparently, it's George Orwell. Yeah. George Orwell. Tell the truth a lot. Yeah, yeah but in a time of universal deceit, 
telling the truth is a revolutionary I believe, act. I believe George Orwell wrote 1984. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, which was um, a dystopian, so-called dystopian future. And it was basically, you had different ministries. The government was in complete control. And the truth was just like completely covered. You couldn't, you couldn't basically, if there was a truth, they would basically delete it. And the way they delete it is, let's say that the, tomorrow they decided the banana doesn't exist. They will now remove all bananas off the earth. That any publication in the because any magazine that ever ever talked about a banana will get deleted and edited. Mm. Mm. Well, that, that's happening now, man, with the fake news. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. hey, even well, bigger well, than that, yeah. Israel. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Now they've told it. That now the whole world thinks that Israel is these 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 Hey, right. bro, uh, you, I think it was the time you was in there when um at camp with the brother on a Sunday, right? And he had this Amalekite. Basically, come up to us, you know, spirit, you know, reveal he was an mm. amla as he was walking past anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we were trying to converse with these skeezer, and literally, as we turn off the camera, man goes, You really should stop stealing other people's uh, heritage. He said that to us, like, What? <laughs> like, the cheek of it, the nerve, the absolute yeah. nerve, mm. you know, to, 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 to say such a but thing. But the devil would say that. Yeah. yeah. The devil yeah. will flip it around on you. Yeah. yeah. Play, play <laughs> yeah. the victim. Yeah. Play, play the victim. Yeah. yeah. You, you did that to us. Yeah. You know, all that shit. Mm. Hey, but you know what? The mm. scripture says in Sirach 10, don't we go hum- crouching and humbling mm. ourselves? Mm. Take good heed of him, man. Because yeah. it was basically, you know what, Bob Shah? Yeah. Because I get that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know yeah. that one, that one, man. Um, uh, Sirach chapter 12, mm. verse 11, right? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be on him, um, as if thou had wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. This is the bit that this is the bit. Check this out. It says, "Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, mm. he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith." Yeah. That's the devil, man. Yeah. You start letting the devil up around you. It's just because you, you know what? Because you, know you know what? When Jake are righteous, mm. you know, as we are in the kingdom, everything's going to be thinking, you know, you're not going to look at your brother sideways thinking, oh, you know, what's he doing? You know, oh, you know, how can I overthrow him? Oh, I want to take his spot. He do not deserve to do that. Some wicked thoughts, you know. That's the that's spirit of Esau, man. Esau wants to overthrow. But in, hey, in the kingdom, we're going to be completely righteous, man, you know. We're gonna we're gonna be working in unison. Everyone's gonna have their their perfection according to Yahweh Shmuel Shai's will, man. You know, it's beautiful. Salakia, mm. nice, no, good, man. I got my thought, really. Well, yeah, I bring out the scripture. Yeah, mm. um, back on faith. This is Mark nine. We we'll start from verse verse seventeen. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master. Alright, that was yeah. probably the brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, but this is a show. Hey, bro. You know, because you know, it's both through. Hey, everyone's through right yeah. now, man. That's another thing yeah. that we, you know, it was fun. Was um, I finally got a chance to go through um, the live, the live session. Um, yeah, you know that the apostles did. The apostles were talking about how you know, but we we all ill, man. We all oh, sick. We yeah, all, yeah, yeah. you know, what was saying he's got all these migraines and all of that, mm-hmm. man. You know, hey, man. And that's one of the reasons why I want to get out of here, man. Yeah. The knees are all bust up, legs are gone. Right, back muscles are gone. You're, you know, we're, we're, hey, we're, you know, we're relatively young. Uh, what do you call it? Camp, you know, here in London, relatively young wise. But our, our bodies are through, man. Mm. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just want to get a scripture on that because you you need to know that Yahweh Shai, yeah, he came. What did, what, did, what did he talk about? He said he came to, to heal us, man. Mm. Why is that, man? Because we're sick, man. We're through. Mm. Yeah? Let me get... Um, this is Mark 2. King James Version. Mark two seventeen. When Yahushua heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of a physician. Mm. Yeah? You, you don't need it. If, if you're saying you're whole enough, you're saying, Look, man. I got this, man. I'm perfect. I don't, I don't need you. I got all mm. the wisdom, I got all the knowledge, mm. I, I'm healed. I don't need a physician, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to, rep- um, to repentance. Mm. Now, if you read through the scriptures, even Yahushua said, look, there's none good but the Father. So yeah, you, you are nowhere, nowhere near in competition with Yahushua. So you are sick. Mm. And if, you, if you're not sick, you're sick in the head. Yeah, we're, we're, spirit, we're sick. Yeah. Spiritually. Spiritually. Hey, we, we, we say Romans 7, 17 speaks about, 
you know, in, in my soul. Uh, no good then basically you know yeah. in these bodies we're gonna go up that's just the you filthy, know filthy yeah you were filthy mm. right but if it also if i can get this yeah, is one yeah. of the reasons why we you know i know we're jumping around it's one of the reasons we look forward to the what do you call it to the um kingdom this is revelation 21 and 4 it says and the most i shall wipe away all tears from their eyes oh. and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying right. neither so shall there be true. any more pain for yeah. the form of things have passed away, and that's that's one of the the, the glories and one of the, the great things about being in the um, you know, in the kingdom. That's why we we, we seek the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If I can get that as well, in Hebrew salak yes, like, yeah, I don't mean I don't mean to hog. Well, I mean, you know, this is why that goes into faith as well, man. Which is you know, ultimately speaking, bro. Like this place is fucked mm. up. Yeah. yeah, fucked up. Like homosexuals everywhere. Mm, everywhere. You can't even get fruit with seeds in it no more. Yeah. Hey, they, hey, hey, here in England, man, they're, they're trying to sell fucking, um, what, what is this thing? They're trying to sell avocado, <coughs> seedless avocados. Now, avocado seeds are, are massive. That's the, that's the, like, that's half of the fruit. Yeah. 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 Right? But this is the one I wanted to get. Hebrews 13, 14. <laughs> For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. We're seeking. We're, 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 you know, we're, we're like, Lord, Baba Kasha, you know, save us from this hell, <laughs> you know, like you're saying, you know, and that's what, hey, you, and you get guys that are talking about 10 years from now, man, it's like, 10 years from now, bro, look, look how much Esau's fucked up in 10 years, it's fucked up the minds of people in 10 years, right, the majority of our people are all into, um, you know, niggas nowadays just get their assholes licked out, man. Yeah, that's a new thing for them, isn't it? Nasty, man. You know, and 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, I'll speak about London. I always, 10 years ago or, or thereabouts, niggas wouldn't even lick pussy. Yeah. Right? Not saying that's going off. Mm. But just... You see the spirit just changing, the, just yeah. It yeah. went from, you know, in, in north, northwest, you know, because I know these things are territorial mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. But around where I grew up, north east, uh, we're northeast, isn't it? I'm northeast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Northeast London, niggas would even lick pussy, but now niggas are getting their own assholes licked, and they're licking asshole. Mm. So, so, so the yeah, it's spirit heavy now, man. Yeah, and even have a w women asking it from you as well, man. That's yeah, crazy, bro. But yeah, and the so I'm so slow. The point yeah. I was trying to make is imagine we're here for another 10 years, bro. Oh. Well, that's why the Lord said he's going to cut the time short. Yeah, the Alexei. Yeah. And yeah. guess what? Flesh me say. Yeah, hey, and guess what? you got to have faith to believe that, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. you got to have faith to believe that. Real soon. Can't. Real mm -hmm. recognize the mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, brother called for this. First Corinthians 2 and verse 9. But it is written, I have not seen... Now, what it said. The first thing it said is that it is written. Mm -hmm. Now, Bob Kishar, if you can get me that in Ephesians, I believe Ephesians 11, faith is the evidence of things hopeful. Oh, Hebrews 11. Hebrews, Hebrews 11, 11, yeah. So, like, I always top, get that. Yeah. Hebrews 11 and 1, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. honestly speaking, like, I just want you to read that it is written. G mm -hmm. Give me that again. Read that again. Read, title that and yeah. read that again. This is First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Letters of Paul, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is what Paul is writing to the church of Corinth. Go on. But, as it is written. So, it is written. That means they hadn't lived through it. They hadn't, they hadn't experienced mm. it, they hadn't tasted of the joy of it, they just, yeah. they heard, you know, it was like a fairy tale. That's what people mm. describe the Bible as, it was a, a tale of a time far yeah. off, mm. a tale of uh, a kingdom flowing with milk and honey and, mm. you know, where we would never go off, you know, something that seems so yeah, cool, yeah. too good to be true. Yeah. Yeah. But what does the scripture yeah. say in, in, yeah. in, in the Bible? Yeah, because it's quoting yeah, Isaiah 64 and 4, that verse, yeah. yeah. Go on, go on, go on. Have you got the have you think Hebrews as well? Yeah, I've got Hebrews as well. Yeah, bring out the Hebrews first, Baba Kashan. I had Hebrews rather. I've got it. You got it. Yeah. It's yeah. Hebrews chapter 11. Do you want to start from 6? To the point. 1. A faith that brings evidence. 1. Things Can't. Things. From 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So stop there. It said it was written. That means, bro, like, you know mm. what I mean? Like, I could write about, like, you know, like, like, we're going to go back to a time of decadence, like, you know, we're going to be better than King Solomon. But I ain't experienced that shit. I, I, I was just like, yo, you know, what you said has conviction. And I can spiritually see how it's going to happen. Mm. I believe that shit. That, that, that's why the apostles, they were on your Hawashai on some, when are you going to, are you, will thou at this mm. time restore the kingdom to yeah, Israel? Acts, 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 hey, yeah. hey, man, always, they were just asking the Lord, yo, mm. is this the time? Is He's that going to be time? If that's not the time now, when is, when is the time going to be? Because mm. they oh, earnestly oh, believe. Oh, oh. They believe that, yo, this guy is going to bring us back. Emergency! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, go on, go on. Whoever's bringing it. Right. Uh, 
Can I just bring this out? <laughs> bro, yeah, yeah, yours, yours, yours is a super nah. emergency, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yours is critical. Same chapter, Hebrews 11, verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he's... Yeah, so, you know, Abraham was directed to go into the land of Canaan, man, by Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem. He was, you know, in the land of Chaldees. He, he, that's what he knew. It's like the Lord tells you today, you know, Fuck that London. It's like I want you to go. Obviously, you don't need to do that now. You know, don't scoffers can't use it as an as an excuse to to, to, to just go mm. traveling and shit. But mm. you know, they wouldn't have had the internet back then. So the Lord would have said, "Yo, you know, get out of this territory and go this way." That's what Paul was doing. Mm. Now, honestly speaking, he didn't know if there were going to be barbarians there. He didn't know if he was going to be accepted. He didn't know what was waiting for him. He just took it with substance and he kept it moving. Now, sorry, Salakia, yeah. can I say one thing? Yeah. Yeah. Cut you off. yeah. Imagine that. Imagine your whole life, yeah. You, yeah. you're growing up and you live in Babylon, you live in London or, uh, or London or, uh, you know, Babylon, America, yeah, right? Yeah. You, you're growing up, yeah, for example, there, and all of a sudden, you get a vision, and the vision says, you know, go to uh, Madagascar, and your children are going to inherit that land, and they're going to live there, and you're going to big kingdom, yeah? yeah. You're going to go there? <laughs> you're going to be like, what? Mm. But that's his great faith. Because yeah, yeah. um, Abraham was an early Chaldees, yeah. that was like, you know, Tower of Babel and Babylon, yeah. that whole area, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord said, "Nah, you know, you're gonna go to the land of the promise." Yeah. And he had yeah. to believe. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You go down. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, bro. Can't. It says, "By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, mm. as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles of Isaac and Jacob, the mm. highest with him of the same promise. Mm. For he looked for a city which mm. have foundations, whose builder and maker." Is he how about So basically, he looks for a continuing city. Mm. He went down, you know, our, our, our forefather, that's talking about Abraham, right? Yeah. Mm. Our forefather Abraham was on the, you know, he was a man that the Most High himself called friend. That's got to be, you got to be on a spiritual level for that. The Most High called Abraham his friend, man, and that's the level that brothers are trying to get onto. That's what we're trying to be on the, on the spirit of, you know, if the Most High tells me go in that direction, I'm going to go that way. It don't matter if bullets are flying, flying that way, because I know the Most High going to guide my steps and I'm going to walk through them shits. Honestly speaking, man. When, you know, these Christians go up and they talk about if God can be against me, who can be... You know, I don't know what God they're talking about, but that's yeah. the real... That's the, that's what it's, that's preluding to, that Psalms 91, that Psalms yeah, 23. If you have a shimmy, how a shabby for you, who can be against you, man? Because he controls both the left and the right-hand side, the preluding to the Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, you know? <coughs> so, ultimately speaking, Abraham went there, yeah? He don't know what was going to before him. But on his journey, like we mentioned earlier in the video, the Pharaoh, man... The Pharaoh of Egypt tried to take his wife Sarah from him. And guess what? The Most High fought his cause. The Most High cursed Pharaoh's house and got him to give Abraham some, some substance and send him on his way, man, unscathed. Mm. The Most High, man. Yeah. The Most High's done for you. Ain't no one going to be able to say nothing. But yeah, man, go on up. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah, let me just finish off the first verse. Yeah, man. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Or by it, the elders. Or well, by it, the elders obtained a good report. Uh, now, I want to say this. Even it says for by this the elders obtain a good report. So you will read about, like honestly, it says the elders obtain a good report. Guess what? Daniel in the lions that he's an elder for us to follow. Um, you got what David when he went against Goliath. He's an elder for us to follow. You, you, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're elders for us to follow. And their examples, you know, the scripture also says, um, had did any have faith in the Most High was confounded? Where that? Um, ha, ha, yeah, I got it. Yeah, you know, because um, honestly speaking, you gotta understand. Brother, like that's those those stories can't, can't, can't carry weight. You can't read that like it's a light thing because mm. those are written examples of mm. our forefathers. So you read that shit. Like imagine the scriptures. I mean, you can't imagine the scriptures without it. But if the scriptures had no accounts of men being saved from lions and dens or being saved from fires or being redeemed, you know, mm. honestly speaking, you'd be like, okay, cool. But you know, where's the proof that you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you come yeah, with yeah, that carnal, yeah. mind, yeah. Which, carnal mind, which is what Esau does, man. That's what Esau's always trying to quantify things. It's scientific right? proof, the, yeah, 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 calculations. Yeah. And well, I think it's Corinthians says um, the natural man, uh, you know, basically can't receive things with his spirit, man. Yeah. You know, so it's these spiritual discern things certain things man hey these people in the world ain't gonna get it man mm -hmm. and it, it, it ain't meant for them to get it precept for you yeah. just quickly back you up first this is first corinthians 2 and 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of your mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's right you know because hey the things that we i said you know the things are of the spirit man you know spiritual men are going to understand these things right but the carnal things you know these people are gonna get. So when we're talking about faith, right? You know, for a lot of brothers, man, we we'll, you know we we'll talk about chariots, 
right? And they, they may not be cemented in the faith because there's certain things where, you know, you won't you won't know the breakdown fully, but you'll be like, hey, the apostle said that's what it is, you know. So until the Lord gives me the understanding, that's what it is, and you you go by you know do it by faith, right? And you go until one day, you know, like we mentioned the time at the camp. Right, you had the cops all, you know, bugging out, you know, trying to chat shit, and then the Lord sent a fleet of chariots, mm. man, you know, which was a faith booster, and then that was, that was, you know, those brothers' faith being confirmed because, like I said, they hadn't seen a chariot themselves, right? Yeah, they, you know, they may have believed, but when they see it themselves, because hey, th those chariots that day, oh, they, that, they were yeah. undeniable. You can't. You couldn't yeah. see on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. that was for the brothers that were there. You know, obviously, but was out watching, I'll be like, oh, shit, why were they so excited? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they must know that something was there, right? Yeah. What's yeah. the that, bro? Yeah. I've got Sirach 2 and 10 as well. Yeah, for by the elders of Tina. Because, yeah, man, like, we got accounts of great men in the scriptures that went through shit and came out the other end of it, man. Peter was put in the prison, and although ultimately he did die at the hands of the Romans, guess what? Through many times he was delivered, man. We've got many accounts, man. And I, that's why we, that's another re thing that exhausts your faith, knowing that great men went through even harsher things than what brothers are dealing with when they came through on the other side. So honestly speaking, the main thing is faith, man. Faith, how about you? Mm. You know, you got that scripture as well, but yeah, go on, finish with that up. Um, yeah, that was it. Well, to keep the reading. elders obtained a good report. Yeah, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. Yeah. Through faith, we understand that the, world, the worlds were yeah. framed go on, go on. by the word of God. Um, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Come, that's why we ain't bogged out with that evolution. Mm. And that's, that evolution is a bit, bro. I've got family members, bro. Like my, my, I'll tell you straight. My family background is so-called Christian. My whole family is bogged out. You got women pastors in my family, male yeah, pastors yeah. in my family. But I've got cousins that will straight up tell you, I believe in evolution. I believe in Darwin. I believe in mm. the power of soul. Which if you're that, a so-called black man believing in evolution, you're a fucking idiot. Huh? Yeah. And we were all idiots. I'm putting my hand up, man. Yeah. Right? I was a fucking idiot, man. Well, this switch to talk about the renewing of your slugs. Like, switch to talk about the renewing of your mind, yeah. right? Because you you t you cast off all of that shit. And if you're a so-called black man, because basically, what, hey, hey, my understanding of the world evolved is to make better. Right? What does Esau go around saying? Oh, we all we all came from Africa, right? But then we evolved. Meaning what? That Esau is the best version of us? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Esau is the worst version. Hey, Daniel four seventeen. Talks, uh, it talks about how the Lord set up, set it up over the rulership of the earth. It's been given to the basest of men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Base. That's right, man. That's right. But ultimately speaking, man. And that's another thing. That's another thing. That Even, even that takes faith, bro. It mm. takes faith mm. to believe that the Most High actually put this man in power. Guess what? Yeah. He's going to go down, man. Yeah. Regardless of how many, you know, SF, AKs and tanks and, and military man he's got. Honestly speaking, this man is going to go down, man. It's... And it's gonna be a spiritual war as well, bro. That's the thing you gotta remember. Oh man, this is a beautiful topic. I know, brother, yeah. got peace up. Bubble shout out. Beg you bring on that peace up. No, um, is there any have faith in the most? So up to and ten, right? It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust yeah. in the Lord? Yeah, go on. Go on. It says, um, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? That's a, a spiritual. That's a spot, the point I was speaking on in that last piece. Of, you gotta be able to look at the scriptures and say, yo. Abraham had faith in the Lord. Now all of us are offsprings of him. We're out here, man. Jake is the biggest nation on the planet Earth. The Most High was true to him when he said your, your, your seed will be as the sons of the sea. You can go to his motherfucking China. You can go to, to, to America. You're going to find Jake there. You analyze, you know, um, the story of um, the... You analyze Egypt. And, you know, even when Joseph's brother sold him, man, into slavery under the Egyptians, man. Guess what? He, he, he rose and he became great in Egypt, man. Because yep. honestly speaking... There's no divination or enchantment against Israel, man. That's the numbers 23, 23. You gotta look at those great examples and think, yo, those are our ancient forefathers and the spiritual element of it is Lord willing we be part of the elect, we come back in a similar, if not the same lot. So really and truly, man, you gotta be have that spirit of fuck it. If the police arrest me, fuck it, the most high won't deliver me. You gotta have the spirit of fuck it. If I get arrested tonight, you as bugged out as it might sound to people in the world, you gotta have the mentality of yo, the Lord might just fucking break down the door at midnight and pull me out. That, mm. that's, that's the kind of yeah. mentality you literally yeah, have. Yeah, which is what it says here. Man. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, continue. Hey, did there ever any trust in the Lord and was confided, man? And then we say it says, look at the generations of old and seen. What, what are you saying? Yeah, oldest, oldest. Yeah, you, yeah, you look at what's written in the scriptures. Our, our elders. Look at our elders. elders. Yeah. The 9 11. Mm. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. Right. You know, these accounts should give you faith and, and make you think, you know what? Shit does happen. 
you know, hey, you know, I remember what you call it, one of one of the uh, older brothers in our camp basically made the point, like what's the worst that can happen? Let's be real. Right, you, you what you lose your job, go hey, Lord hey, Lord has a brotherhood, right? Lord can uh what you call it give you a number to <coughs> get a job. Yeah. Right? What else? You know, you might you might die. Well, hey, so what? Mm. In a you, better you, place. Yeah, you're in a better place. That's right. Right, well, uh, First Thessalonians 4, 17 talks about how you'll be caught up in, in, in the sky of the Lord, man. Right. And you'll be raised up first. Uh, yep. You know, yeah, uh, uh, yep. uh, 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 which call it, assuming that you, uh, which call it, you die in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Right? So really and truly, you know, what's the worst? Uh, there is no worse thing that can happen, man. Or worse thing that can happen is falling out. But as long as you maintain the faith, man, hey, the Lord's got you. If you die, you die, you die unto glory. Hey, um, no greater gift. No, 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 no. Lay down his life for his brother. Yeah, lay down his life for his brother, man. Right? Yahusha laid down his life for us. Right? So these are the examples. But, uh, you know, let me carry on. It says, look at the generations of old and see. Right? Basically, look through, you know, look through, you know, the, the history. Look through, you know, uh, the, the books of the history. So, you know, um, you know the, the, the Acts of the Apostles and all of that. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Right? Or, or did any abide in his, his fear and was forsaken? Mm -hmm. Or whom did he ever despise or called upon it? Right. So basically, if you have faith and you basically just, you know, you you uh you trust in the Lord, you abide in His fear, right? And you know you call upon Him, the Lord, Lord's got your back, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got a precept. This is Mark nine and forty two, and whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, mm. so what a topic of faith. So so who's the little ones, man? Lord willing, we're hoping to be the, the elect, you know, because as we keep pushing this word and enduring, you know, hopefully to the end, you know, we're going to be seen as those those little ones, man, the ones that, little ones, those little ones are basically your your your, your babies, man. If you, if brother, you know, brothers are some brothers here are parents, so they got they got kids, man. You, when you have a kid or even a little brother, little sister, you teach them how to behave, mm -hmm. right? And if some an outsider. You seeing them trying to influence them or put them in peer pressure into wickedness? You're gonna be like, "Hey, man, move away from my child. That's that's my child. That's my little brother. That's my little sister. Don't don't be, you know, trying to take a bunch of them." Blah blah blah. So that's how the Lord's got you, man. That's how the Lord sees you. And it says, "It is better for him that 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 a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were cast into the sea, man." So that's that's how it's gonna feel for a lot of these mm. scoffers trying to shit towards us as we were preaching um scriptures the gospel mm. the, the ooh, love out of the world ooh. you know look but it's like better for them to just go and commit suicide man because yeah, yeah. they, they, you're they coming against the lord man yeah because they lack the faith if yeah. i may real quick since he was 11 and 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that come unto the most must mm. believe he is and that he's a warder of them that diligently seek him and as you're going into mm. these guys lack the faith yeah they lack yeah. the faith they mm. don't have the faith Right, which is why they, yeah. yeah, which is why you know they'll laugh at us when we're talking about chariots. They'll laugh at yeah. not when we say a, a black man's gonna crack the clouds. Mm. Right, they laugh and they scoff at it because they haven't got the faith. But what does the scripture say? But without faith, it is impossible to please him, man. Which is why it says what it says there. Mm. Right, you yeah. might as well commit suicide, man, because <laughs> yeah. these guys that physically come up, they're gonna receive yeah. a greater judgment, man. Right, I'm it, they're not even make Satan and try to call us faith-based Israelites. Yeah. So you got so-called Israelites in there. I mean, like I made this point a while back. Even the Christians have faith. You know, mm. they mm. got faith in the wrong thing, but yeah. got, at least they got faith well, in something. Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone has some sort it's of faith. faith. Yeah, yeah. They, it just land back of what you're saying. These people in the world that will say they're atheists, they have faith in their government, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, most yeah. of most of Israel have faith in the government, man. Look at Hurricane job, Katrina. Yeah. Where FEMA at? Yeah. Huh? That's right, man. They have faith that they're going to their job tomorrow, man. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, and that's a good point yeah. because what will people do? People will, um, will get massive credit card debts and be thinking, I oh, don't worry about pay for it. You know, we'll get things on finance, you know, expensive things on finance. Oh, I don't worry, I'll have a job, <coughs> right? I but then, but then which, uh, like, which as the brother's saying, means that they have faith that they're going to go to a job tomorrow, man. Right? If they, these guys might exit scam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19 um, I'll, I'll start from 16 Yeah, I'll just read through this quickly And behold one came and said unto him Good master what good thing shall I do That I may have eternal life mm. So yeah, yeah oh, oh. he didn't have faith See that's the thing of 
Yo, brother. Yo, man, brother. I gave him arms. Thousand pound. Hold that. Yeah. I five thousand. Hold that. Two thousand. Hold that. Most high save me. That's that spirit of yo. I got my little way. I, I'm good, I've got the 10 grand stack mm. over there, mm. but I gave him a grand, I gave him two grand, like, 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 like a mar, you know, mm. you know, talking mm. about, when I remember that older brothers were all, like, cursing them out, and, you know, he was talking about, yeah, I was going to send him, what, 500 pounds, or five uh, grand to the like elders, or some count, shit like count, that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. talking about, yeah, but, you know, you might have just given your little mm. 200 pound tires, but I'm giving yeah, a grand, man. you know, that spirit of Ananias and Sapphira, yeah, in, that, yeah, in the yeah, book yeah, of Acts, because yeah, yeah. you can imagine, Jake, you know, Jake could have been given a little arms, you know, the, the, Yahweh Shai talks about the woman that had nothing, and she gave, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. All that she had, or you would have had this Ananias and Sapphira on some, yo, you know, Peter, man, you know, we sold this land here, you know, mm. you know, you know, now we got enough bread here to feed the whole church, you know, mm. the whole of the Roman church, Peter, you know, wherever they would have been based at, you know, Peter, you know, we, we, we good, man, you know, mm. you know, we got enough bread to last us, you know, how shall I come back, you know, that's how they've been going, they've been going on, and then they would have thought, yo, you know, Peter would have heard that and said, yo, the water, brother, you know, mm. thank you, brother, you know, you've given us 50,000 shekels, brother, thank you, but guess what he did? The first thing Peter responded, I mean, bro, if you can even get that, Peter responded and said, yo, thinkest thou that you can lie against the most high, curse them out, and he died, bro. Straight yeah. into the point. I've got, I got a precept. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Acts 8 and 20. I uh, both shall I'll get back to this. Acts chapter 8, verse 20. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee, because mm. thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased yeah, exactly. with money. Because that's not faith, man. So to think that you can just purchase your way into the kingdom. That's not faith. The Christian church is not faith. The Christian church is as long as you remember that, that day before Armageddon, you pray to the Lord and, and cry and say, Lord, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. And you rip your shirt open or some, you know, some Superman changing into the costume and you say, Lord, I'm sorry. What's, mm -hmm. You know, and you get baptized. Mm -hmm. That's the Christian spirit. No matter what you do, bro, you could commit adultery, you could blaspheme the name of the Lord. As long as you get baptized and repent, mm -hmm. you go into heaven. That's the Christian spirit. Hey, hey, niggas will be like, hey, 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 Lord. Hey, Siaki, for this adultery I'm about to go commit. And they'll go and they'll commit adultery, man. Oh, man. That's, that's <laughs> niggas, man. Yo, the Tom, hey. That piss me off, man. <laughs> that's niggas for you, though. Am, am I lying? Yeah, that's, it's real. That's all. But I hope you guys fucking die, man, mm. in your unfaithfulness, man. Um, so. Hey, don't go as far as yeah. to thank the Lord. They'll be like, hey, thank oh, you for why, letting man? put this woman in front of me, man. Mm. That's all. Jake's wicked, man. Not all Israel. Of Israel, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, this is so I'll carry on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That's that another is. thing. So he was doing the flattering thing of, Oh, you know, you're such a great man, you have a shy, you know, you're a good guy, you know, I can see the works that you're putting in for Israel, you know, like that. You know, Jake, that's how yeah, Jake, that's, like, cut him straight. Yo, yo, that's how Jake, do it. you know, that's a man that don't want to come out to the camp. Mm. But he's like, yo, on the YouTube, like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. your brother's going doing in hard, thing, man, yeah. doing your thing, watch you guys, yo, I watch, watch you guys, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I ain't really gonna come out like that, but I watch you guys, I, I believe in what you're doing, you know, here's, here's 20 pounds, hold yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah, buy yeah, 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 yeah. Shoes. Shlama, you're doing the real out here, yeah, yeah, you're doing the real yeah, yeah. shit out here. Hey, I can't go, go see my girl, you know, but yo, I'll see you later, I'll, you know, kingdom and that, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, you can't need to like, bro, who's at the account, what's all them posts, man? The guy comes with, hey, Shlama, Hey, hey. I'm just there like to Ross. <laughs> See, like, he's got learn, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, new in the you know. Hey, well, I just goes to show you, my many shall come in my name saying, Lord, Lord, man, my house and they call upon him that they have not known, man. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah going on. So it says, um, But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Yeah. He said unto him, Which? Yahweh shall say, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit mm. adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Mm. Say, he done, he done, the young man said unto him, mm. All things, all these things have I kept from my youth. Yes, up. Stop there, stop there. So guess what he was doing? That's you can't have the spirit of a checklist. You can't yeah, like, that's yeah, what niggas do, like, a checklist right. to heaven. Mm. A checklist Israelite to heaven. That's what they do. Like, yo, I did the video, cook, check, check. I did the free videos, check. I did the yeah. the, the group video, check. I did the apostle to hiring on me on me because I did the free videos and I did the group video, so mm. fuck this shit. Now I'm just gonna get my dick stuck by some niggas girl, mm. or I'm gonna buy some Jordans and post it on Instagram and, mm. yo, you know that you got you can't have the checklist mentality, but that's lukewarm. That's yeah. doing the bare minimum. Okay. Well. And on what we were just bring back to what mm. you said earlier about um we you know how Satan will go, you will say, Well, if you're of the elect. You know, yeah, what, yeah. What, what does the scripture say? You know, his sins will be blotted out. Yeah. You and are, because you ain't crying. Yeah, yeah. You are doing the free videos. You know? <laughs> saying, saying it's going to be like You know, that, like, yeah. hey, hey, you know, hey, <coughs> hey uh, blessed is he whose who sin is not imputed unto him. In, in Psalm, was it Psalm? I forgot where that is in Psalm. 
right? Mm. And that demon will be on you, that's but that's because right. you ain't grounded. Mm. But you said something, bro, that I wanted to touch on as well just now. I was like, he'll learn, right? Because, also, you know, I, I said what, what, what I said, you know, he was doing that, right? But that's, you know, that's, that's the thing that comes with faith because, mm. hey, man, you, you know, you can't expect a guy to hear that he's an Israelite and then, you know, what do you call it? He unshapes up his beard, mm. right? You know, he, you know, he unshapes it up. You know, he immediately stops eating pork. You know, he observes the Sabbath days. You, you can't expect that of a guy, man. You know, cause, you know, sorry, I'm happy to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. through the spirit, like, he might not be cursed out for that. Mm. Mm. You know? And hey, if this guy's watching the video now, man, he shouldn't be smoking, man. Mm. Yeah. Destroying the temple, man. Mm. That's right. You know, your body, man. But you know what? Um, I, I, that's straight what it is. But yeah, the thing is, straight, a lot man. of guys will go through things. And then they, they, they might be thinking, oh, it's all good. Mm. That happens to all of yeah, us. Yeah. You, you still, to yeah. this day, yeah. you're thinking it's all good. And then all of a sudden, maybe the apostles, through the spirit of power of your Habash, you know, Shad, the make apostles, a video, yeah, make yeah. a video. Yeah. Hey, man, you shouldn't be doing that, such and such, man. And you, you, feel, you. Yeah. Cut, you feel committed. That's because the spirit of the Lord cutting you mm. and refining you, mm. you know? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. And maybe that guy hadn't heard it yet. Mm. Maybe he needs to just, he needs to get that sharp rebuke. He needs to know that it's wrong. Because, oh. You know, because... Our, our people, that, that's what it is. They, um, they destroy for lack of knowledge. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah. Even though, because we're on the topic of faith, even faith itself is a process, man. The Lord ain't going to give you unlimited faith just like that, bro. Mm. The Lord's going to give you a sample of faith yeah. and he's going to put you in tasks or challenges yeah, yeah. Where to build up your faith. Yeah. You know? Okay. Oh, Lord, you know, when I was in the world, I used to be sleeping with bad things, man. Oh, oh, oh. I'd be sleeping with all the man them's, man them's things. I'd be taking a woman. So he, he might have grown into that spirit of adultery. Yeah. So, so the Lord's like, um, so okay, he's coming to the truth. So the Lord's like, look, look I'll give you a bit of faith. But I'm going to put a woman there. Mm. I'm going to put a woman there. We'll see what you're going to do. So he's going to test you. Yeah. And you probably get the girl's number. And she tells you, look, I, I, but I got a man, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But we can still do it. We can still do it. So mm. that demon's in your ears, you're like, no, 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 fuck, because I can't do it. Mm. But you cut off, mm. that's your faith growing. Yeah, like that. that's, right, that's right, that's right, that's right. So, hey, mm. I've got this for you, Sirach 318. The greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself. Mm. The more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before your house. Because like you're saying, mm. right, you can't just get the faith, right? Yeah. You know, because, you know, they're stepping on the different ladders and to unlock this one, you know, you got to, you, you, hey, the higher you get in this thing, the more yeah. you get humbled, man. <laughs> More you get yeah. tested. The more you get tested. More demons. Yeah. Yeah. High level demons. 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 Yeah. Yeah. People, people like to say, man, hey, man I want to be the apostle. How are you going to let... Hey, man, hey, the apostles have, have, have gone through some heavy testing to yeah. be in the position that they're in, man. Yeah. I remember, you know what, I was this. I think it was um, the Dallas camp. Mm. I can't remember who was speaking, but I remember one thing stuck in my head. They were saying, they were like, you know, demon will look at you and if you ain't... if You, you know, you might go through something. Like, you go through something, you get tested, right? And you might be like, yeah, yeah, can't, can't, or whatever. Mm. But if you ain't really meditated on it Pray. and understood and prayed mm. to, under, to be given understanding and really understand what you just went through, then you ain't ready. Yeah. The next time that demon comes to attack you, yeah, he's going to come back stronger, mm. right? And then the thing is, when you, when you, when you start becoming more grounded and you have mm. prayed, what's, what, what's the demon going to do? No, no, we can't. This demon can't. I can't yeah, fuck with him anymore. So he's gonna way, go. Yeah. He's gonna go look for a man that I ain't dealt with him. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah exactly. And I always give this example. I used to play this video game, right? Oh, that's I was gonna talk about games, experience points. I was gonna talk about speed, bro. that, and I was gonna yeah. talk about streets of rage, right? Yeah. And in that game, what it is is you basically you going through, you're going through the streets, right? <laughs> beating up um, like punks, yeah, demons, right? Yeah. Like demons, you're just mm. beating them up, right? And what it is is when you start up on the first level. You know, <coughs> to fight the guys and the mm. last boss, he's like some tough guy. Mm. Then when you get to like the eighth or ninth level, the guy who's the last boss in the first and second level, he's just the e everyday punk on the street. <laughs> yeah. And you're, yeah. Just, you're beating him up and you're fighting higher levels. Yeah. You get to the last level and it's like before you fight the last boss, the all whole, the, all, all the, the guys, you, you fight them. all the demons that you face, yeah, you fight all the last bosses and they're just the regular guys on the street that you're yeah, banging yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Dante's Inferno is another one. Yeah. It's just, it, it's like every time you conquer that demon through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, stronger and stronger. You know why? Because yeah. you get refined. Yeah, you get built right. up to be a that's king. Right. That's right. You know? Yeah. Hey, to to, to uh, land back on the point you made about, um, you know, the demon would, 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 would try first time. Hey, the yeah. Apostle Paul made the example of, like, fighting to get used to boxing. Mm -hmm. And I know both like to go into the box. I ain't too much myself. But I know one thing they'll do, right, you know, they'll throw you a quick jab. Mm -hmm. You reach, bam, knock you out. And that's what that, like, what were you saying? The demon, like, shit, can I, can I, 
can I, can I go in this way? Mm. Yeah, man, when he sees the opportunity, he might as well knock you out, man. Mm. Right, that's so why you're supposed to be, you know, grounded in the scriptures, man. And because, uh, was it uh, Peter's? Saying God's bar is a roaring lion seeking mm. whom he may devour. Mm. Oh, and if you can back me up on this, because mm. I know you probably know about this more, but um, like a Trojan horse, mm. right? You won't know until it's kind of become, become activated. Like oh, in your, in your machine and that. Right, in your <coughs> machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Trojan horse will get in there, because like, the Trojan isn't going back to Troy yeah, with the horse, yeah, yeah. right? Mm. Go in there, you, you, and they might just sit there, I ain't doing nothing. Dormant. Right, dormant, right? Mm. So called dormant, right? The demon's there, you don't even know the demon's there. Mm. And then all of a sudden, a day comes when you get tested. Yeah. And that Trojan horse releases all this shit. That demon yeah, is just yeah, all yeah, up yeah. in there, yeah? And you know what? That's why you got to pray. Mm. All that time, you got to be praying, man. You know, it, the Lord said, because we were talking about it earlier, the Lord said, um, these disciples said to him, you know, there's this demon, we couldn't basically get, get it out. Oh. So some demon, you know, you got to come through prayer. Oh, that's the spirit. Cause oh, yeah, Bob Shell. Yeah, yeah. This is Mark 9 and verse... Um, Verse 17, and one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I brought, I have brought unto thee my son, which have a dumb spirit. Mm. And wheresoever he taketh yeah. him, he teareth up, yeah. and he foameth. Yeah, so basically, he had that, re that retardation spirit, that, that got demons. So, you know that, what, what's the, what do they call it now? That medical condition when you like, you know, like, you know when you're just uh, like, down, down syndrome, like that down syndrome is a demon, bro. Yeah, really and truly, that is a de <coughs> <coughs> that's a demon. Yeah. But he had, he had. I'll call it what it is: retardation mm. demon on it, man. You know, he was forming in the mouth. You know, couldn't formulate words. Gone up. Can't even that, like the form in the mouth and like moving about. That's the demon that's in these um, churches today, man. You know, they they call on um, Caesar Bourget, You know, J Jesus Christ. That's not the real name. You know, and they. Worshiping and praising the so-called white man, they they got um, demons on them spirits. So that's why they are speaking in um, what they call tongues, which they don't understand. That mm. that's you know, mm -hmm. that's speaking in other languages, mm. you know, for the sake of uh, the prophecy and the gospel. Mm. But they they're like foaming in their mouth. They're hitting walls. You know what I'm saying? They, they need fucking people pro protocol to, to try and catch them. Right. You know, what kind of spirit is that, man? Right. And and it says. Master, I brought unto thee my son, which have a dumb spirit, and whatsoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and he gnasheth with his teeth, and yeah. pinneth away. Yeah. And I spoke to the disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. Yeah. So that's what you you were talking about, right? Come, come. And I said, he answered him and saith, O oh, faithless generation. Mm. Oh, see, go, go into faith again, man. Damn. That's right. See, <laughs> faithless generation, man. Disbelief. Yeah. You have doubt. Mm -hmm. See, doubt is the opposite of faith, man. It's negative faith. Mm -hmm. you, you can't have that in, in this, in this, in this truth, man. Mm -hmm. And it's and that's how a lot of people fell out. You know, oh, when is the Lord gonna come back? You know, I've, oh, it's taking too long. You give up. Oh, yeah. you oh, that's what it says in about the scoffers. Where's the promise of His coming? Mm -hmm. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Where's the promise? Faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him on to me. So it's, the Lord said, bring him on so to me. So you got to notice, from Yahushua's words, he had no doubt. He yeah. was like, yo, you man ain't doing it right. I'm going to sort this shit that's out. That's right. And that's, he had no doubt. He was like, yo, the Lord's giving me the power. I'm going to do it. And that's how, that's the mentality you got to have. You got to have the mentality of, yo, I'm going to come out on a Saturday or whenever it is, mm. I'm going to speak in boldness because I know at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai got me. Honestly speaking, I'm telling you and I'll say it again, bro. Like, if we didn't have the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai on us, you think you could just go out in a Jake Nibble? Well, obviously, you no know, brothers are in Central. Well, you think you could go out in the middle of, of London without the spirit of the Lord and just curse out the white man? Mm. Make so and he'll, he'll do you for fucking so called terrorist terrorists. Because technically speaking, let's be Hate real crime. about it. Yeah. Let's be real about this. To say that America is going to be destroyed and have a, a sign of it displayed mm. in the middle of central London, according to Esau's political law, is a terroristic threat by yeah. nature. Technically mm. speaking, man, are rebels. Technically mm. speaking. Yeah, but they're the real terrorists. Yeah, but yeah. they're the real terrorists. Mm. Technically speaking, but they're trying to, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to spin that off from brothers, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But honestly speaking, by, by their bullshit, their, 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 their propaganda, mm. they're trying to make us look like terrorists. That's so called. Mm. According, according, if you went in front of in front of Buckingham Palace and held a picture up of London. Uh, you, the, yo, yeah. snipers gonna shoot snatched, you yeah. down. You, you you dead. You ain't, even gonna, you ain't even gonna get arrested. <laughs> but guess what? Through the spirit and power of your Harbour Shia sure, Hawashai, sure, yeah. our message gets out there and people will stop. And even though you get a lot of scoffers, you also get a lot of people like, yo, that's right. Mm. That's the truth. Mm. I can see that happening. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the most high is, is putting a spirit on people. That's why the crowd, I remember when brothers used to go out, yeah, and there was no crowd, it was just the camp. 
and it was just the caravan and the occasional, yo, you know, yeah, shallow arm. Mm. No, stay for like two hours and he's gone. Mm. Now you've got brothers diligently, yeah. they're taking notes, bringing they're, the, they're scriptures, bringing the scriptures. Yeah. And it just goes to show that it's the spirit of how of your how of your how shy. And it's faith as well, because it's faith two ways. Faith that we knew that, you know, like same way the elders, we were fruit of the elders, we were going to have our own fruit as long as we continue to the doctrine. We got that. And it's faith, faith on their side also, because they see us and they see us like, yo, these men must have the Lord, spirit of the Lord dealing with them. Because regardless whether it's snow, I remember, bro, we were out in a snowstorm. I remember that, bro, the weather was chapping, chapping. Bro, brothers are out there dying in the snow, but guess what, man? We made our bodies a living sacrifice in your heart while shining how we shine. Man, we're looking at us like, guess what? Man, no one's gonna come. And then you had the whole crowd still come out. You know what I mean? And people, I remember people were shopping and they stopped their shopping mm. to literally listen to what we were saying. I'm just speaking, man. that's the spirit, bro. Mm. That's the spirit. Like, yo, man, these niggas must really believe what they're teaching. Yeah. They're still yeah, out yeah, here yeah, in the yeah, snow. Yeah. In the snow, that's, that's, that's faith. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying the weather. No, let him finish. Let him yeah. finish. Mm-hmm. Can't. Um, uh, the young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack like I yet? Checklist. <laughs> yeah, Shai said unto him, If thou will be perfect, go and sell it. And what, how's he going to be perfect? In the kingdom. And guess what? Yeah, yeah. Well, really, also in the kingdom, and through faith, man. Faith. Faith. Because, yo, the Lord said, Yo, you're a rich man. Give up everything. Fuck it. Give up everything you own and say, Yo, follow me. That's the thing of, Yo, you got to understand. Yeah, how was Shai rolled up to Peter and I forgot who, which other apostle was a fisherman? Who was Peter? Uh, Andrew, 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 yeah. Peter Simon and Peter, Andrew. Peter, Simon Peter and Andrew. Simon Peter and Andrew. He rolled up to them on some, Yo, you know, follow me and I shall make you fish fishermen. Man. That's you know, it. One that's line. It. And I was just on some, Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck the net. Fuck the fish. We rolling with this guy. But that's yeah. why That's why the Lord said to Simon, He said, Simon by Jonah, flesh and blood will not reveal it unto thee, but yeah. the spirit of, you yeah. know. You had an account as well. Where Yahweh Shai said, I've not seen great faith as this mm. in Israel. There was a man under a tree. And then I think Yahweh Shai said, yo, you was, de- you was there or something. Like he, he, he basically, in a spirit, he revealed unto the man where he was previously. Or something along them lines. And the man was like, yeah, I believe you. Know, so straight like that. And Yahweh Shai was like, yo, you got, is that what he was looking for? No, I've got another priest. Yeah, but yeah, you know, Yahweh Shai revealed unto a man his whereabouts in a previous situation. And the man was like, yo, you know, you got to be the Messiah. Just like that. And Yahweh Shai was like, yo. Are you talking about uh, Nathaniel? Yeah, the Nathaniel. He said, uh, uh, "Because thou sawest me under a fig tree, yeah, yeah, thou yeah. believest." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come. Um, no, Yahushua said unto him, "If thou will be sorry, yeah, go, go. if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me." So let's fuck everything, fuck the world, forsake mm. the world, that Roman small spirit, forsake the world, and come and follow me. But that, guess what? He went down with that. So he says, "But when the young man heard that saying." He went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. Exactly. Because yeah. he didn't really have the faith. He didn't really have the faith. You gotta be on the thing of yo, if the Lord required it of me tomorrow, fuck it man. I'm just gonna just do what the Lord I'm, I'm gonna roll in the spirit, man. That's the kind of mentality you gotta have. Cause honestly speaking, when the martial law kicks off, that's how what brothers are gonna be doing. You're gonna be yeah. rolling in the spirit. You can't just pick up your phone like, yo Raza, what are you saying now? Huh? Yo, yeah, you know the bomb's yeah. going off. Yo, you you know, ring, what you do? You know, you know, <laughs> And your phone just be flashing service, no yeah. uh, service yeah. out of range. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after, you know, I managed to go best before that like, the bombs dropped off. You know, I've got a lamp, I've got a rib for you, brother. You know, all of that shit. Hey, 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 hey like Ari said. Um, uh, Elder Ari, well, you know, uh, Elder, Ari, uh, High Priest Ari Yasser, like you are. 911 going to be seriously busy dying. You get me? That's what he said. He said, yo, there's going to be death. You probably should watch that old video of him in Times mm. Square. He was like, yo. He said, yo. We got get you so hey, I love our, our high priest our yard ancient spirit, man. Cause honestly speaking, man, that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be raw, mm. fucking raw, brother. You gonna need the Lord on your side, bro. Mm. That's why that was an account of faith. Because guess what? If he ha- if he had done that, Yahweh would have known. Like yeah, this man is. Because Yahweh knew he 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 counted the cost. Yahweh knew he was going to be crucified. Now imagine this. Imagine you got a rich man, yeah, and he's on the thing of yeah, you know. Like, I'm good, I'm good in Rome, but then, you know, like, I'm all right, you know, we're going through hell, but I'm all right. Then he sees the Lord get crucified, he's gonna be like, yo, fuck this shit. You know, I thought this guy was gonna bring the kingdom now, and I was gonna get even more richer. Fuck that, I ain't down with that. How should I knew he was the bullshit artist? So he said, yo, if you ain't really down to go, go grovel through the mud, and you wanna keep your clothes dirt clean, you wanna keep the Armani's flizzy, and you wanna keep the, you know, the, the, Lu- the Louis V's on mm-hmm. and all of that, then fuck it, you ain't, you ain't worthy to be my servant, man. Um, for sure. Now I've done that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm continuing with that. Uh, Mark 9. Uh, Mark 9, um, it says, and it says, um, and I speak to the disciples and they sh- <coughs> that they should cast him out and they could not. Mm. He answered him and said, oh, faithless generation, mm. how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. 
And when he saw him, straight away the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. Yo, so when the spirit saw you, how shy it started bugging out, you know, mm. so I, getting the guy on all kind of madness. He was on the ground foaming, twitching probably, you know, mm. going all kind of mad. But let's see what happens, man. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. And oft times it have cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. So the guy was basically trying to commit suicide, man. The spirit, mm. the demon on him was trying to get him to burn himself to death or to literally drown himself, man. Mm. Heavy demon. Mm. You know, that's why that depression is a demon. Yeah, that's, yeah, why that's, I, a, that's know, a major demon. That's a demon. Bro. Depression is a demon, man. That suicidal depression, you know, that's a demon, man. Mm. And that's why a lot of these people out here are depressed, why? Right? Because they got demons yeah, on them. Yeah, and that's the spirit. You say that as well, bro. Right, yeah. Because um, in fact, when I was uh, on my way home from work and that, I was, um, I was basically talking to a guy and talking about, you know, he was talking in the more carnal sense about human instinct, doesn't want to, hey man, to be all there, just, you know, all cutting yourself up and shit, man, you know, that, hey, that's, yeah. that's a demon, man. Yeah, man. I've got a preset, oh, sorry, not a preset, smacker. I've got a, a, the etymology mm. of the word depression, mm. uh, it says to press down, to depress, it says dejection, depression of spirits. <laughs> Mm. Uh, so, <laughs> depressing de is, is basically bringing you down your spirit. Mm. And it actually, what goes on to say here, which I thought was interesting, it says, meaning a lowering or reduction in economic activity. <laughs> and what's our economic activity? Mm. Going out on the highways yeah, and byways yeah, yeah. and pushing out this, this word. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you, when you get depressed, man, you know, you be sitting there, demons plaguing your mind. Oh, yeah, you know. And that, and that goes, goes to the people that bugged out, that like, couldn't do the free videos a, a, a week, man. <laughs> you being depressed, man. You, you couldn't handle it, so your spirit went down, and, and now now look at how much videos you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and the, the videos you're doing are no longer edifying anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and it says, oh where am I? And it says, um, and often they have cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou um, cannot, um, if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And that's us, man. We we we're asking for compassion. We're asking for the Lord to help us, man, to save us out of this wicked place, man. Because we don't want to be here anymore. And the brother said, man, Michael two ten. This is not our rest, man. We want our own kingdom. We want our own slaves. You know, we want to wake up when we need to wake up. Mm. You know, mm. we want the heathen to do things for us. Mm. You know, we want our women in line. You, you, you could, Jake's having a relationship. It don't last long. You know, we want our women to have our own fucking hair. In it, man. We crave righteousness. We crave righteousness, man. We want to do everything right and perfect. We can't, man. Mm. And it says, Yahashua said unto him, If thou, oh, beautiful, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Mm. You want to say something? <laughs> it said, Yahashua said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Yeah, the scripture says, If you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, you shall move mountains. So honestly speaking, as long as you got faith in the Lord, man, you know, as long as you believe that your heart is going to really do this, honestly speaking, like obviously it's not no no one's got their their, their their passport into the kingdom like that. But honestly speaking, more likely than not, you're probably a member of the elect, man. You know, your heart is going to shine right as well. You gotta just have that faith, that faith, but you and uh, like that unwavering faith as well. Honestly speaking, that another thing I'll mention is even though this, like you know, the scripture talks about us not fighting against physical war. Fighting physical war, fighting against spiritual mm. spiritual battle against principalities in high places, spiritual wickedness. You gotta understand that there's people, seances, groups that coming up come up against the truth on a daily basis. Why do you think there's so many people falling out? Why do you think that like, you got heads of ex heads of camps? You know, you got many examples now. You got a Dallas camp. You got that um what's it called? Yeah, you guy. Many examples, man. You can't be shaken up by that. You can't be. You can't see a so called great man fall and be like, yo, no. no. If he can fall, then you know, yeah. and that make use that as an excuse yeah. for yourself or discourage you. Mm -hmm. You gotta let every man be persuaded in his oh, own man. Right. That's what it comes down to, man. That's really yeah. what it comes down well, to. Well, the scripture says, um, it's Philippians, not Ephesians. It says, uh, Philippians 2 12. It says, Let every uh, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not is in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right, just to uh, land back with what you said about, you know, these, you know, you can't see a man go off and then you start, ah, 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 
I'm in an R in, man. You're supposed to just keep keep going, right? Because this is about you being saved. Now, it is true, right? One of those, what what that's supposed to do is supposed to humble you, yeah, right? Yeah. Paul, Paul spoke about that. It says, lest there be a castaway, right? Because the Lord can use you. I mean, we, hey, all of those guys, you would have had people that have come in, in from those guys. We personally know a guy, we, you know, um, you know, whom the Lord used to basically give us truth, but the Lord didn't want him, man. Yeah, and, and in the scriptures, it talks about, um, the prophet of Judah, okay, and then the, the older prophet, and um, that was basically an example of him. Basically, um, he, he wasn't really grounded in his own faith, but he was basically following after the, the older prophet because of his um, reputation, mm. right? And basically, the Lord had told it, the, the prophet from Judah, "Look, you're going to go down this way, and you're going to keep going, and you ain't going to turn back." But the older prophet said, "Nah, I saw a vision that said you, you got to come to my house and chill there tonight." Well, he should have just stuck to where he originally knew. But he gave had respect onto the older prophet, right? Rather onto the respect onto the word of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, right? So what did he do? He went into the older prophet's house. You know what the older prophet ended up doing? I don't know exactly where it is in the scripture. Maybe you can look for it. But he turned around and cursed him out. He said, "Hey man, a lion's gonna devour you tonight, man. Mm. Why'd you do that? The Lord told you to keep going." <laughs> and, then, you know? and then, then he dipped. He left the house and the and lion, ex- yep, lion, lion devoured him, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> So you got hey, that's why it says seek your own salvation with trembling yeah. and fear. Mm. You know? Scary, yeah, hey, the Lord says walk a certain path, you walk that path, man. Mm. Right? Why? Because Satan go roll for about as as a yeah. go for about as a row on line, man. So you can he may he may, he may be devout, right? And say scripture says Ch- time and chance happen to all men. Right? So if you happen to be where the lion's roaring, <laughs> well you gonna get chopped up, man. Mm. Right? But that's why you go by what the Lord said. The Lord says, hey, do do the work. You do the work, man. Mm. If you're convicted in your spirit to be out there at the camp, you do that, I'm man. I'm just going to finish off. Come on, man. Um, it says, And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help by mine unbelief. When Yahushua saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Bow dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said he is dead. But Yahushua took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, when he was, and when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could, why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, this kind, this kind, can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. That's right, prayer and fasting, man. Huh? Prayer and fasting, which again requires faith, man. Huh? Mm. Faith. You gotta have faith in the Lord that yo, He's gonna see you chastising yourself. He's gonna see you going through the hell. That goes into the priest of Matthew's fifth chapter. You know, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that do that that do mourn. You know, honest, for they shall laugh. Honestly speaking, you gotta know that. You catch the L on this side, but you're gonna be rewarded greatly mm. in the kingdom. That's why brothers are out here. You like brothers are Jake, man. But at the end of the day, like honestly speaking, if we were in the world, brothers could be doing so-called worldly great things. Mm. But you gotta understand that scripture talks about knowing all of these things shall shall pass away. What manner of men ought you mm-hmm. to be in a holy righteous conversation, man? You know. You you gotta know that honestly speaking, all of this is gonna be done away with. We will have the mentality of fuck it, man. I could have been a so-called great. Scholar, a great so called sportsman, musician, whatever the mm. fuck, but guess what? I ain't gonna be nothing in the kingdom of heaven, so fuck that shit. I'd rather be a king in the kingdom of heaven. Well, Paul did that. Hey man, he's gonna count it all up. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, so you have a shy statement. Mm-hmm. Um, you got anything? I got no, right. This is um, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee, mm. let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And incredulity, basically, going to go on. No, I was gonna say. What was it got like what what's the not FBI but the, the you know the UK version of that you know is that I don't know the one I can't forget I forgot well you know we got the M I five no no oh yeah 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 can no but our version is N C I National Crime something or other yeah but either way you got I'll detectives on brothers yeah. you got you got you got them tapping brothers phones watching brothers probably listening in through through computers doing all kind of okay, manner, yeah, like like brothers got anything to hide you got. You got trained killers that got brothers' names and lists ready yeah. to come down. The truth talks about the great insurrection against them that fear the Lord. You gotta understand. You got you got trained killers, man, ready to come down on Jake. Not only just Jake, but really the, the elects, man. You know, 
honestly speaking, bro, you got the two thirds of our people that wish to see us dead. But guess what? Through faith, we know that Yahweh Shem Hashem will redeem us and destroy the, destroy the destroy the wicked, the multitudes of the wicked. So yeah, go on, bro. Fear not the imaginations against thee, then of the incredulity, which meaning unbelief, of them troubled thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Mm. So if you ain't got the faith, you're dead. That's right. That's right. You know, so you know, them guys you said they were calling us unfaith based Israelites. Mm -hmm. it down, I'm, I'm cool with that. Mm. You know? That's right. That's right. Is the moon or all of that? Nah, that's it, man. Yeah, so, yeah man. Honestly speaking, man. The faith, man. You gotta be, you gotta have faith in many things in the streets. You gotta have faith that yo, the most high gon go go deliver Esau into your hands and, and ultimately destroy Esau. You gotta have faith that as long as you maintain you're gonna make it into the kingdom of heaven. You gotta have faith in the name. The name Yahweh Bashi Hawash. You know, you've got scoffers now, you gotta have faith that what a high priest are we are taught or the twelve tribes really and truly is the twelve tribes breakdown because honestly speaking, it's spiritual and it just resonates with the spirit, man. You got people talking about nah man. I don't care what it says in Genesis 49, you men are off. But they ain't got faith, man. Mm. Faith is the key ingredient, man. And at the end of the day, no brother's got the passport, no brother's got the documentation, but through faith, man, through the spirit and the, you know, the, the trying of the spirit, we know that we must be those men. You know what I mean? So I don't know if brother's got anything you want to come with at the end, but yeah, man, you know, hope that, hopefully that video was edifying. So we're just going to say at the end, um, Barakah for your hawa. 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 Barakah for